Hey everybody, Noobtastic here, and I'm back with a kind of a different kind of gold guide. This is a, a mage only guide, or a, a mage has gets better uh, money guide. I don't know what you want to call it here. Basically, on this gold guide, the, well, this wasn't even going to be a gold guide. I was just going out to get the old dollar and porter on my mage when I found out how much money is actually falling here in this instance. Um, Okay, so this is Scarlet Halls. I'm running it on uh, normal difficulty, and uh, on average, now uh, your uh, your portal, the, the the dollar and portal in the end is uh, BOE, so it can be put in the auction house. So that's worth about twenty five hundred gold. Okay, twenty five to three grand, depending on your server, maybe even more. But if I minus the gold from from the portal. I'm actually getting about two to two thousand to twenty five hundred per run in in Scarlet Monastery, and that's for transmog gear and uh, that's vendoring off every all everything else. Okay, now now uh, I took uh, I got like three runs in for fifteen minutes, so that's like six grand in fifteen minutes. If you take that times four, you know, even if we want to. Uh, Okay, let's 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 nerf that down and say you don't exactly get six grand out of it. Let's say you get four grand. Okay, and you take that four grand times four in an hour. That is, <laughs> what is it? That's twenty grand. That's sixteen to you know. It's, we'll, we'll call this maybe sixteen to twenty grand an hour of transmog gun. Uh, I mean gear that's falling. And I was astonished that there's that much gear that comes out of of, of this instance. Okay, but the the BOEs that I was getting, um, are are kind of like world drop stuff. I mean, uh, they're not really listed in the in the the, the guides here. Let me uh, let me pull up a wild thing thing. It's exactly what it drops. All right, guys. After researching for the better part of an hour, trying to figure out what gear actually comes out of this dungeon, because I can't find anything. Well, I had, oh, they only list the the boss loot, they, none of the trash loot. I've came to the conclusion that that uh, any of the uh, I think it's twenty to thirty or twenty to twenty eight uh, world BOE drops can come out of here. Everything from um, Glimmering to uh, Battle Forge to Silver Thread. Now I got parts of all three of those, but I also came up with uh, several uh, several patterns that are worth quite a bit. Uh, elixir of Lesser Agility, you know, um, some some uh, blacksmithing plans, uh, the Green Iron set, in, uh, you know, some older stuff, some a tailoring pattern, the Silk Slippers, uh, you know. Uh, there are, you know. Uh, Let's say uh, quite a few uh, drops that come off these uh, these trash mobs in here that uh, were surprising to me how much value is in this instance. Now, uh, if you run, I ran this on heroic, which is uh, level ninety, and I also ran it on normal, which is uh, I don't know level twenty eight or something. And uh, you can get the book off of any normal, uh, normal or heroic. So if you can't necessarily, you know, solo it at normal, but uh, you have to kill the end boss before he burns the book. That's the uh, the only thing I could really find out. That if he burned the book, you were, you were toasted. But I had no problem, even on my, my terribly geared mage. And I'm no expert at playing the mage. I could still kill him at 90 on, on heroic before he burned the book also. Now, it's uh, it's a great thing. And it's a fun you know, it's a fun thing to, to port to the to, to the creator. I mean, who, who doesn't want to teleport somebody next time your buddy or somebody asks for a portal to old dollar on? To you know, dollar on you can send him to old dollar on and uh, <laughs> get a chuckle out of it as he starts screaming at you the minute he goes. Now remember, if you port yourself to dollar on, make sure you hit your slow fall or uh, glider or or something as you're following. Otherwise, uh, you're gonna be toast pretty quick. But uh, so you get the portal by uh, by killing. Uh, by in, in Scarlet Monastery, 
after you've learned the portal, though, then you can go into Dalaran, and uh, below the Alliance Trainer, there's a magical shop here, and the lady will set, you, you're now vis, you're now eligible to see the port. Uh, the uh, you learn the teleport. Now you're eligible to see the portal, and she sells it. Now it is a uh, time uh, vendor thing. She doesn't always have it in stock, but uh, since you do know it, you can you can buy the port. When this is another thing. After you learn your own, you can always come back other times and get this and sell it. It sells on an average of 900 gold. The uh, portal sells for like 2,500 gold. So there's another uh, another thing you can make money off of. And also there's a black hat, black cat, uh, polymorph to a black cat that sells here also. So you can buy that too. No, I bought it for myself. And uh, but uh, overall, this this you know inventor and everything out, I was amazed. How much here is? I'm calling it a six, 16k minimum. Now this is transmog's gear, so this isn't 16k of raw gold. You will have to work the transmog to get it all off, but uh, it's it's a good transmog gear. The the Better Forge and the Gilmarine sets are really high sought out, sought after like slutware for the male wearers. So uh, I'm sure it will sell with no problems and uh, and everything. So uh, enjoy it. I, I was I was uh, I was pretty shocked at how much came out of here, but uh, thanks a lot for taking the time to watch my rambling guide. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and uh, I'm on Twitch every evening. If you want to drop by and, and, and say hi or ask any questions, I can ma answer pretty much any gold you know questions you got there. But uh, have a good one, Snoop Tastic out, and.